Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to create this super easy energy effect. This effect was showcased in one of 42 Doug's music videos. It was actually requested in the comments by 32baby. If you guys have any other suggestions, make sure you leave them down in the comment section below. I'm going to be showcasing a free plugin called Saber. It's by Video Copilot. As well as I'm going to be giving you guys two free presets to use with Saber. You can go down below and download these presets and use them for yourself. Top straight into After Effects. All right, so here we are in After Effects. I've kind of just like handpicked this little clip from the music video. First thing you want to go ahead and do is duplicate your layer. And then from here, we're going to double click on this top layer and grab our rotor brush tool. Now we're going to rotor brush anything out that we want to kind of be that electric. So here I'm just going to rotor brush out his chain. You guys just want to make sure you get a good selection on the first frame. Use alt or option on mech to get rid of any unwanted rotor brushes. But yeah, once you guys have your first frame good, we're going to go ahead and keep frame forwarding. And we're just going to rotor brush till the end of the clip, making sure it's all lined up. So here I've gone to the end of the clip and I'm going to go ahead and freeze our rotor brush in place. With that done, we can now close out of the layer tab. Now the next step of this is actually going to be making a mask of this rotor brush. And it seems kind of redundant, uh, but basically what Saber the plugin uses to kind of make the electricity is a mask. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And After Effects has a really cool feature called Auto Trace, which is going to automatically mask out the rotor brush that we currently have. Go to the first frame, then I'm going to go to Layer and go to the Auto Trace option. Once you guys pick that, this little Auto Trace tool is going to pop up. Make sure you set the time span to the work area and your work area is these two lines right here. Then I'm going to keep all the other settings default. I'm going to hit OK. It's going to go ahead and auto trace. And as you can see, we have all of these different masks right here, even dropping down into the masks. You see, it just made a ton of masks. Now this tool isn't perfect. So you guys are gonna see that we kind of have like all these random masks all over the place. You're gonna just wanna go ahead, double click on these and delete them. Otherwise it's going to mess up our saber. So now with all those deleted, if I keep going through, you can see that the mask kind of shift and change with the direction that uh, the chain is going. And this is exactly what we want. And this is where I'm gonna go ahead and use the saber plugin. And once you guys have these presets downloaded, you're gonna go ahead to the effects and presets and double click on this presets folder right here. And on Mac, it'll pop up like this. On Windows, it should be something very similar. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead to the Adobe folder and get the Meech Energy presets, they should be wherever you downloaded them, and drag them into this Adobe presets folder right here. Now if you refresh the presets folder, you should go ahead and see the Meech Energy presets downloaded. Go ahead and drag the orange on right here. And now you can see it makes our screen go black, which is not what we want. So you're going to go ahead and right click on this top video, go to the blending mode, and we're going to change that to screen. And that's just going to overlay it over our clip. Now playing that back with the preset, you can see we have this super cool effect. And uh, yeah, it just looks so cool. It is. And now playing that back with just a drag and drop of the free preset, you can see that we have this super cool effect with the Saber plugin. If we want to stay true to the original, it had orange and blue. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat the process with the blue. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate our rotor brush layer. Going into it, I'm actually going to delete the Saber. And I'm going to go ahead and delete all the masks as well. Obviously for this next layer of mask, we want it to be different than the first one so that our saber shows up in different spots of the clip. Luckily for us, the auto trace tool has some options that we can switch up how it decides where the masks are. Go ahead to our very top rotor brush clip and we're gonna go to layer and auto trace again. Again, keeping it on work area, but now instead of the luminance, I'm going to decide where the masks are by the reds. Gonna go ahead and okay. And as you can see, it went ahead and auto trace some more. Again, we have these kind of glitch masks, which I'm gonna go ahead and delete right now. We can go ahead and drag another preset onto this top video player. We're gonna go ahead and grab the blue energy preset and drag that on top. And now playing that back, we now have the yellow and the blue. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of a little bit too intense. So one thing we can go ahead and do is go to our transform. And we're gonna go ahead and decrease the opacity of both of these. And I decrease them to both 65 and 45%. You can go ahead and mess around with those values. But as you can see for completely free, we have this super cool energy glowing effect around the chain. Again, you guys can go ahead and download these presets as well as Saber. I'll have links to both in the description below. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you like and subscribe. Again, comment down below with your suggestions. If you guys wanna learn how to create 3D effects instantly in your music videos, click right here. Got some big things coming up and I'm very excited to share them with you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.